The president delivering his State of the Union address tonight. Spending, the economy, jobs expected to dominate the topics. Two of the senators who will be in the chamber tonight uh, join us. It's great theater every time the State of the Union address takes place. Senator Charles Grassley, Republican from Iowa. He's also the ranking member on the Senate Finance Committee. And Senator Mark Udall, a Democrat from Colorado. Gentlemen, welcome uh, to you both. You know, uh, Senator Grassley, welcome back to CNBC. A lot of the talk this week has been who you're going to sit with. Who are you going to sit with tonight? And what do you think of Mr. Udall's uh, initiative to get everybody to cross the aisle? I'm sitting with Senator Wyden. He invited me. Yes. We worked together on some issues. I'm very happy to sit with him. Uh, I, since he asked me to go, I guess I'll choose where we sit and I'll sit where <laughs> I usually sit. That's great. So you got a new date tonight. Senator <laughs> Udall, these kinds of symbolic gestures can be meaningful, but really the importance uh, tonight will be in what the president says. What do you expect him to emphasize? And react, please, to a report that we're getting that he is going to call for a rather extended uh, spending freeze on discretionary, non security oriented outlays of the federal government. I, I would support the spending freeze. It makes sense. It ought to be cobbled together or connected to tax reform. And we ought to look at entitlement reform as well in the long term. We're going to have to do all three. Uh, to get our debt uh, under control. I think Senator Grassley and I agree that's a, a very, very important step we can take. I also expect the president to talk about innovation and investment. If we do that in, in combination, uh, we'll get our economy back on its feet again to lead the world again. I think that's what Senator Grassley and I both want to hear tonight. Senator Grassley, uh, let me turn to you and ask a, a question that derives from the interview we just completed in which uh, one of the uh, equity analysts we had on said that Really, basically, anything short of a reference to reforming the corporate tax will make him sort of change the channel. Where do you stand on that particular issue? And would you like to hear the president talk about reforming the corporate tax, basically lowering the rates so that we are more competitive with our international peers? You know, when you have the highest, second highest corporate tax rate in the world, it's one of the reasons we're not creating enough jobs in America. And I would uh, look forward to that offer from the president because so many presidents talked about it, nothing's been done. I think that coupled with the efforts to get some trade agreements through the Congress would be the very best news he could do for jobs short of extending existing tax law on uh, individuals for a longer period of time because don't forget uh, half of the 70% uh, of the new jobs in America are created by small business and a lot of those small businesses file individual returns. Senator Udall, I'd like to get your reaction to the idea of lowering the corporate tax rate and how important you think that might be in stimulating jobs, number one. And number two, the president has seemingly uh, gone a bit of the way to uh, reaching across the aisle and compromising uh, with uh, your colleagues uh, on, in the Republican Party. Do you think now he can offer something to the more liberal wing of his own party? But start with the corporate tax, if you might. Yeah, what I'd like to see us do, and I, I agree with Senator Grassley that we ought to simplify our tax code. We would have some tough decisions to make about some of the subsidies and loopholes that are in place. I'd like to see us also take up the deficit commission recommendations. I haven't had a chance to talk to Senator Grassley, but three of his colleagues in, in his caucus uh, proudly voted for the deficit commission recommendations, Senators Crapo and uh, Judd Gregg and, and Senator Coburn. Uh, that'd be a real starting point because this has to be an integrated process to get our debt under control, lower corporate tax rates, simplify the tax code. And then we've also got to put some long-term reforms in place for our entitlement program, Social Security and Medicare. Uh, on the uh, second point, I think the president can reach across the aisle. We had some real success uh, in the December lame duck session, passed some important pieces of legislation. Let's build on those successes moving forward. The country's challenges are too great to fall back into uh, heavy-duty partisan warfare, quite frankly. Senator Grassley, you introduced, I believe, a, 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 a <clears throat> bill that would change, or maybe it's a rule that would change uh, some of the rules of the Senate and, and how things get uh, considered. And among the things that, report, that are being reported today is that the president may come out in favor uh, of banning the so-called earmarks. Where do you stand on that? Uh, and also such things as the uh, anonymous hold and, and, and filibuster rules, which uh, tend to uh, uh, clog the Senate. Well, of course, uh, uh, during the Republican caucuses right after the election, both in the House and the Senate, Republican caucuses took an overwhelming 
view that we should not have earmarks. And I think that what we have done is spilling even over into the Democrats' uh, caucuses as well, because I've heard of some uh, Democrats that normally had put in earmarks aren't going to put in earmarks. Uh, so I agree with that, obviously. Uh, on the other one, uh, I referred to that when I said that uh, Senator Wyden was going to be my seatmate tonight. We have put together a crusade over the last few years, and I think we're going to be successful this year, not to do away with holes, but to do away with the secrecy of holes. In other words, if you uh, want to hold up a bill, you ought to at least have guts enough to say who you are and why you're doing it and put it in the congressional record. Not as an end in itself, but if you're going to put a hold on something, there's obviously something you don't like about. It. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to negotiate with each other, you got to know who you're going to negotiate with. And you, and you ought to be able to stand up like a man or a woman and say who you are. Uh, and Senator Udall, who will you be sitting with tonight? Let, let me first agree with Senator Grassley when it comes to limiting secret holds and asking for more transparency. I think he all, you know, I also believe maybe we ought to accelerate the mm -hmm. process whereby we confirm judges, particularly at the district court level, and then administration appointees. Uh, it's unfair for an administration to be two years in and not have everybody, have everybody in place. Uh, and on earmarks, I'm a, a, a small member, but a growing mem a number of us in the Democratic caucus led by Senator McCaskill are also agreeing uh, that we ought to limit this uh, process of earmarks. It's, right. it's led to egregious behavior. If we want to get spending under control, this is an important step. I'm uh, sitting with a mystery seatmate tonight. Stay oh. tuned. Uh, we will watch then. Thank you very much. Uh, gentlemen, Stay thank tuned. you very much, Senator uh, Grassley. He's and got